Now the homework is for you to make some sentences using all the four verbs. You have to make at least two sentences for each. Hi everybody. How are you all? Hope you're doing great. Today we have a quick vocabulary lesson. Some confusing words in English that are always confused by everyone, almost everyone, because we don't know the context where we have to use which one. And the words are for today, difference between borrow and lend, and then difference between give and take. One of the most confused pair of words, borrow and take. What's the difference? So we are going to cover everything for these four words. Lend, borrow, give, take. Are you ready? So let's start. Let's talk about borrow versus lend. So when we are talking about the word lend, lend is a verb. And lend means to give something to someone. When you give something to someone, you say lend. When you're lending something, you have the intention to take it back. You're not giving something to someone forever. It's not a gift. For example, you give a gift. You cannot lend a gift. So lending is something that you're giving to somebody for some time. For example, the bank lend her some money to buy a new home. Can you lend me your pen? I've lost mine. My sister is going to lend me her car this weekend. I'm lending my earrings to my sister for this particular event. So these are the example sentences of lend. Now, what is the meaning of borrow? Borrow is totally opposite of lend. Borrow means you take something from someone with intention of returning it. So when you borrow something, you have the intention of returning this particular thing that I'm going to return after some time. For example, can I borrow your pencil for a minute? Would you let me borrow your car this weekend? My mother let me borrow her sari for this particular event. I borrowed this book from my friend. Can I borrow your pencil for a minute? Can I borrow your fiction novels? I borrowed some good novels from my friend. You always borrow something from someone and you always lend something to someone. So the preposition to is used with lend. You lend something to someone. I'm lending my car to my neighbors. And with borrow, you're always going to use the preposition from. I've borrowed this book from my friend. I've borrowed this book from my friend. Let's talk about give versus take. Now, the meaning of give and take, that's pretty simple. We all know. Give is when you give something to someone. And take is when you take something from somebody. So it's like opposite. What's the difference between lend and borrow and give and take? The usage is similar. Just like you lend something to somebody, you give something to somebody. You use the preposition to with give and you use the preposition from with the verb take. Just like with borrow, you borrow something from somebody and you take something from somebody. Let's look at some example sentences so you can understand this in a better way. I have given my book to my brother. Will you give your earrings to your sister? I'm going to take this book today. I'm thinking to take your car. I took a car from my brother. I took a pencil from my friend. She gave her new dress to her sister. So these were the example sentences. In structure, they're similar to lend and borrow. Now what's the difference? With give and take, we do not know the intention of the person, whether the thing is to be permanently kept with the person or not. With lend and borrow, you know the intention is to take it back. If you're borrowing, you're going to return it. If you're lending, you'll take it back. But with give and take, we don't know the intention. It can be given away for forever or for some time. We're not sure. Plus, lend and borrow, they are formal. Whereas, give and take, they are informal. They're the words that are commonly used in spoken English in your day-to-day -day conversations. But lend and borrow, you'll find them in written English, specially related to law, business, banking, you'll probably see these two words there. So this was the short lesson on 
lend, borrow, give and take the four words which are confused a lot. I hope this is going to help you. Now the sentence structure is also clear. We have covered the sentence structure, we have covered the meaning, we have covered the context. Everything has been covered. Now the homework is for you to make some sentences using all the four verbs. You have to make at least two sentences for each. And that means in totality you have to create eight sentences. This is a homework for you and please do not repeat the sentences that I've already told you. You have to make your own sentences, new sentences, so that you know how to use the particular verbs in a sentence. It's going to improve your English a lot. So that was it. That was the lesson for today. Now at the end, I want to add something. Uh, guys, I'm not feeling well. I was suffering from stomachache. That's why I could not give you a long lesson today. And that is why I've shot this small short lesson short vocabulary lesson but do not worry it is as important as other lessons too and i'm sure that tomorrow i'm gonna bring a long lesson for you so stay tuned like the video share it and subscribe the channel and do wait for tomorrow i'm gonna come back with a new lesson for all of you see you tomorrow at 8 a.m sharp till then take care and bye